Okay, so I wanted to briefly show you guys how to open up your reconstructed tomogram on Chimera X. Uh, for those of you who do decide to um, download Chimera X and work with it to visualize your data. Because while Chimera X is pretty well documented, there are a couple of special things you do have to do in order to display tomographic data accurately. Um, and this stuff might be a bit harder to find on the internet. So um, here we have our working directory where we just finished our run of iMod. If I hit LS, you'll see all of the files that we generated from our last uh, workflow. And then the maps that we've reconstructed, so our reconstructed tomogram, those are in MRC format. So if I list, use a wildcard.mrc, this will list all of the MRC files that are in my working directory. Um, the two that we should be concerned with are this one. So tbucci pp215 full reconstruction, full rec.mrc. This is our full tomogram. And then we also have our process, our post-process tomogram, which is trimmed, which is tbucci pp215 rec.mrc. If you're only trying to visualize your tomogram in iMod, uh, using 3D mod, usually the uh, trimmed one is a little bit better. But for Chimera X, uh, sometimes the trimmed one, it is smaller, so it'll open up faster, but sometimes there can be artifacts in the trimmed tomogram. So uh, you can try using both and see what works better for you. In this case, we're going to use the full tomogram. Um, now, before I open everything up, just uh, very quickly to get Chimera X, um, start a new page. So you can just Google UCSF Chimera X, go to the home page, go to download, and downloading and installing Chimera X is uh, much more straightforward than iMod. Just simply choose the downloadable based on your operating system, double click the executable, executable, however you say that, and then uh, everything should install automatically for you. Okay, so once you have Chimera X installed, you should see this Chimera X icon on your desktop. Now to open up your reconstructed tomogram, again, in this case, we're using the full tomogram. You just simply drag and drop and wait for Chimera X to launch. Now, immediately this UI should look pretty familiar to you guys. Uh, this is the same software that we use for our week six VR visualization. And you'll see that your tomogram uh, initially opens up as just a 2D plane. This is your active window up here on the top right. We have our model panel, which shows you all of your active files that are open. By clicking this checkbox, you can blink your models. Um, and then down here, you have a volume viewer. Now, my Chimera X is pretty heavily modified. Um, so if yours doesn't open volume viewer by default, you can go to the volume tab up here. Uh, scroll down to volume viewer, click that, and then volume viewer should open right up. Now to display our reconstructed tomogram in 3D, you want to select this drop-down menu, and instead of plane, you want to select surface. Now your tomogram should be displayed as a surface, but uh, there's one important thing that we need to do, which is to properly scale our data, because the way that the tomogram is natively created in iMod is a little bit different than how displays data. So the command you want to use is VOP scale, and then the model number. So in this case, our model is model number one. And then shift by minus one and factor by minus one. Okay. So you want to hit return to execute that command. And immediately, your tomogram should now be rescaled into a, a much more human, readable, Chimera X compatible format. All right. And you'll notice that in the model panel, we also generated a model two. And the model two is uh, just the same file name as model one, but this is scaled, okay? Now, tomographic data is very noisy. So by sliding this histogram, you can uh, display more of your signal, but in displaying more of your signal, uh, in this case, our microtubules or our flagella actually, uh, you also have a lot more noise. So one thing you can do to clean up the noise a bit is to uh, apply a filter to your data. And in the same way that there are low pass and high pass filters, there is something called a Gaussian filter. Uh, so in this case, we want to apply a Gaussian filter to our scaled density, which is model number two. 
And um, let's go out by, again, this is tomographic data. So you want to go out by quite a few standard deviations. Um, let's try, let's try 15. For that. Hit return. Wait for your computer to recalculate the map. So while we're waiting, I uh, just want to throw this out there. There's a lot of resources on the web on YouTube for how to uh, use Chimera in depth. Like if you want to color your, your map, if you want to segment your map, if you want to crop your map. Um, so all that stuff is pretty well documented. If you search on YouTube or search in the Chimera X documentation files, uh, there's walkthroughs covering how to do all of that. So I won't go into all that here. Again, this is just a very brief demo of how to properly display your data. Um, so now we see our filtered map, which has propagated as model number three. Um, I like selecting this soft lighting option up here because that makes the 3D pop a little bit better. Um, and already you can see a lot less noise. Our flagella um, is standing out much clearer. We start to see the nine plus two microtubule arrangement. Um, if you want to filter this a bit more, you certainly can. You can uh, either filter the original map by, you know, say 20 standard deviations, or you can change this to model number three, which is the one that we just generated, and then filter that by, you know, say another five or 10 standard deviations. But up to you. Choose the sweet spot for what, what looks good to your eye. Um, now, last thing I want to touch on is after you have your Chimera session set up, say you want to come back and work on this later, you can save your session by going to this save icon. That's going to spit out this dialogue. And then uh, there's a lot of options here, but the CXS option, which is the uh, Chimera X session file format, that is the one you want. And then very importantly, you want to include your maps because otherwise by default, the session will not include your maps. And then the next time you open this up, you'll only have your initial map, which you would then need to rescale and refilter again. Uh, so let's save the session under, uh, let's go to desktop for now. And we'll just call this, um, you know, uh, test session one. Okay, hit save. That should be saved. And now we can close out of our session. Oops, it's still saving. All right, there we go. Now let's close out of our session, go to our desktop, find the session file that just saved, which is right here. And if you just double click this, that should bring us right back to where we left off. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. Um, once you have your session open, again, you can take snapshots or screenshots with Chimera X, uh, or you can use your screenshot tool of your choice. Um, if your laptop is struggling to display all these densities, um, one thing that can help is by closing densities that you don't need. So in this case, you know, we like this blue one. So let's close the other two. Um, so that way you minimize what's actively loaded on your computer. There's also this uh, step dropdown menu too. So if step one, which is the highest detail, if that is too much for your computer to handle, you can drop it down to step four, which uh, will speed things up quite a bit. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is the, those are the basics. Again, this uh, using Chimera X, this is entirely optional. This is for those of you who want to spice up your lab report with a little bit of color and 3D rendering. Um, but again, you know, if you want to just stick with iMod with the black and white and the slice view, that is perfectly fine as well. Um, so do with this as you will and um, yeah, go crazy or not. And that is all.